We're going to uh, ask for people who have any kind of pains or anything that want to come up here and try this machine as an experimental device. You try it on yourself. Lee's going to explain how it works. And uh, it's up to you if you want to try it. We're not doing anything medical. None of us are doctors or anything. Lee's not a doctor. I'm not. We're just, it's just an interesting experimental process. So this is Lee Crock from Caldwell, Ohio. The only thing we work with is universal energy, and that is the energy in all living things. The Lord made, he liked his system when he put it together, for he gave everybody, everything, every life thing, the same electrical system. There's nothing that takes place in your body without the brain sends a signal to it, and that signal is electricity. Well, you can do it by hand, or the machine will do what two people can do. Me and my wife can do the same thing that machine does, but we have to work in tandem and stay with you all the time. That machine do what both of us can do, and it'll stay there all day with you. Now, is anybody out there got any pain, I'd like for you to come up here and we'll show you how they operate. Come on up. You can do it to yourself. Anybody in the crowd has a little ache or pain, just take your hands, go counterclockwise around your belly button, eight times slow. Stay within three inches, two to three inches of your belly. That gets you into your electrical field. That causes you to pull up your positive your hands and your negative from your body. I don't care where you got the earache, toothache, anything else, just put your hand up there and hold it. About 15 minutes the pain will be gone. Lord made it pretty simple. Any nut can do it. Anything he meant for us to do, he made it so easy so anybody can do it. As I say, always say, I can teach a normal person how to do it in two minutes. The dumb ones take five, and the Dutch one takes seven. It always takes five minutes to get his attention. <laughs> now, this here is R pictures. You ever heard of an R? If you have, that is your electric shield that's around the body. You take the electric goods through that light bulb. You can't store it. It's used electric. You cannot store. You have to get rid of it. Your body is the same way. Whenever you, your body's used, the energy has got to go away. You're not grounded. So if you had a ground, if you, they reached over and got a hold of a ground, you don't have no R. But you're insulated from the ground, beyond shoes and things, so your body dis discharges out in the air. And that's what you get, is a halo. Everybody's got a halo around you. When it's green like that, you're not passing no toxic. You're feeling pretty dang good and your urine will be clear. Sometimes when that calcium deposit in there goes to moving, you'll feel it go. Sometimes you don't. What happens, your body flushes it with calcium, the damaged cells, to kind of soothe them out. Well, after a bit they turn to calcium, it turns to crystals. Them crystals are sharp and every time you move it hurts. That is a strong enough discharge that his cells will discharge that calcium out. When that's gone, it's gone. You never have any pain with that again. I've heard people talk about memory pain, that your body holds memory pain and things. I don't know, you get rid of that calcium, you'll never remember it again. <laughs> but you go there, most of the things that kill you, they'll have a big name for it, but they have no idea why you got it. Just how would you expect a doctor to get you well if you don't know why you're sick? I always tell it this way, and it's the way it is. They can kill, cut, and burn as their treatments. <laughs> First thing you go there, they're going to try and give you some drug to numb the brain to kill that pain. You ain't done too much for the body. If you go out and start your car, the red light comes on and says you're low on oil, you took a pinch and cut that wire, that light would go out. Well, what have you done for the car? Every time you put a, numb the brain to kill a pain, you put another light out. Then he died, yeah. They done everything, they give him chemotherapy, they done everything. But what happens, you've never seen cancer in a hard muscle cell. It's always in soft tissue. Soft tissue, your body, is not a working tissue, so it's not fed very often. Your arms and things, it's fed three and four times a day. The brain empties it and reloads it, gives it nourish through your stout. But in the soft tissue, 
I have no idea how often it does it, but you know it don't do it near as often. If it gets your cells, your body's a great big battery, that's all it is. Every cell in your body makes a little mute amount of electricity. And it's got a meridian tied to it, and that's it's a tough string, thread. You know how meat has threads through it? Them's the meridians, and on the end of every cell is one of them hooked to it, that string. And they go back to a nerve, and then it goes into, they call nerves up and down, but the brain sends a signal down there for it to empty. Then it sends, changes the signal, and all it, to empty your cells only takes a positive signal. To load them, it's negative. When you ch empty them, it'll turn positive. Then the body does away with that negative, or the positive, and re it as it's filled it full back full of uh, nourishment. It'll make that cell negative. And uh, whenever them cells group of them there, the meridians get plugged off, or shorted out of over calcium or something, shorts them out, they don't empty. After a bit, they'll get toxic. They'll swell. You got a tumor. You got a hard lump. When them cells start dying in there, they call it cancer. All you have to do is put a signal on it and rotate it and keep going, empty them cells in that area, load them up, empty them, and that machine will do it every half hour. It'll run a complete cycle. After about eight or 10 hours, if you stood there and washed the glass for 10 hours, you'd get clean after a bit. Them cells would get clean too. Well, we've tried it back and forth. The fourth time I went back down to the old girl, I said, Sue, you're playing with my electricity. Man, that struck a sore point on her. She ensured me there was no electricity connected with. This was Reiki. I don't know what you to know what it was, but that was the first time I ever heard, it, heard that word spoken. She went to explain it, that that is a Chinese word for universal energy. If you say universal energy or Reiki, you said the same thing in whatever language. She wanted to tell me that she had learned it off the Chinese in North Carolina. And they got this Buddhist god up there in heaven by the name of George. And you say this prayer and do these symbols, and that he just gives you the amount of energy you, she needed, and she just relayed it. Well, the only thing that went through my mind, that's a bunch of bullshit. I've done this a dozen times, and I don't, I don't know no George, and I damn sure I hadn't prayed to no Chinaman. <laughs> And I could do it, so I know that's wrong. <laughs> so it works on anybody, and anybody can do it. If you stay within three inches of them. Now, I got a Clark lady come to me here that she got it off a keeling net, and she took 10 flashlight batteries, put them together. Her husband was sick, had some bones broke, if I remember right, and she fixed him up. She took an alligator clamp and hooked on one end, and every 50 minutes hook on the other, just back and forth. And it'll do the same thing. Please, tell them about the aura. You said when they, they touch ground that it goes away? Oh, yeah. Uh, now, when I have a, where I have my camera, I got a piece of copper tube about that long with a number 10 single strand wire running to the electric ground. You touch, reach over and get a hold of that, and your aura just disappears right now. You don't have no sign of one. And about, if you let go of it, in about two to three minutes, you'll start seeing it coming out a little. In about five minutes, you go to north. So if you're grounded, you don't have any. And I really believe that's what happens. I've been told this. We have a state hospital not very close there for goofy nuts. Well, what they do up there, they get a lot of these hyper people, they tell us. They make them get in bare feet and take them out and run around the grass and they'll settle right down. Well, for some reason, their body probably isn't getting rid of this used electricity. When they get out there and ground them, that drains them. And they said, they'll just go in and go to sleep. So they've taken that hyper out of them somehow, but that's the only way it could be. They just drained electric, that energy out of their body. <laughs>